welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral of e to the sine x times secant of x dx well how to begin okay first uh, I'm going to write here uh, e to the sine of x secant of x we know cosine of x then I am going to multiply by e both numerator and denominator so here dx okay then uh, this e we can take outside of the integral sign so 1 over e integral of here now e to the sin x here e to the 1 power so we can simplify e to the sine of x plus 1 over cosine of x dx okay then uh, as a next step i am going to multiply uh, both numerator and denominator by cosine of x so we have 1 over e integral of e to the sine of x plus 1 over cosine square of x times cosine of x dx okay then mm, but uh, now uh, i made our integral uh, so complex uh, then our main integral uh, y okay uh, watch the end of the video then uh, you will understand uh, then here uh, 1 over e now here e to the sine of x plus 1 e to the sine of x plus 1 over instead of cosine square of x I am going to write uh, 1 minus sine square of x here cosine of x dx okay then uh, I am going to multiply by 2 both numerator and denominator so here 2 times e here uh, 2 times e to the sine of x plus 1 over here 1 minus sine square of x cosine of x dx okay then uh, here 1 over 2 times e uh, now i am going to write uh, here uh, 2 plus sine of x minus sine of x then we know sine of x uh, the sine of x get cancelled and here uh, 1 minus sine square of x uh, here we have e to the sine of x plus 1 times cosine of x dx ok then we know this is equal to 1 over 2 times c integral of now here I am going to rearrange this uh, like 1 plus sine of x plus 1 minus sine of x over now here we have uh, difference of two scores so we can write 1 minus sine of x times 1 plus sine of x times here we have e to the sine of x plus 1 times cosine of x dx okay then mm, 1 over 2 times c now I am going to divide by 1 minus sine of x times 1 plus sine of x so uh, we know 1 plus sine of x get cancelled and we have e to the sine of x plus 1 times cosine of x over 1 minus sine of x dx then uh, plus 1 over 2 times e now we know uh, 1 minus sine of x get cancelled and here we have e to the sine of x plus 1 times cosine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx ok then um, I am going to uh, take minus sign as a factor so minus 1 over 2 times e uh, so we know here sine of x minus 1 now here we have sine of x plus 1 so I am going to make sine of x 
minus 1 so we should multiply by e square now if we simplify uh, sine of x minus 1 plus 2 into the sine of x plus 1 it's okay and here we have cosine of x dx plus 1 over 2 times e integral e to the sine of x plus 1 times cosine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx okay then here e square we can take outside of the integral sign so here we have uh, minus now e get cancelled e over 2 minus e over 2 integral of e to the sine of x minus 1 over sine of x minus 1 cosine of x dx plus 1 over 2 times e e to the sine of x plus 1 cosine of x over 1 plus sine of x dx okay then then uh, now we know um, this function about this function integral e to the t over t t t is equal to exponential integral of uh, t plus c okay now uh, here we have same type of integrals uh, so we can uh, use uh, this formula e to the t over t times dt is equal to elliptic sorry not elliptic <laughs> always i am going to say elliptic not elliptic here exponential integral of t uh, this is a special function on complex plane so we can write now here uh, e to the t over t like e to the t over t but here derivative of sine of we know cosine of x so we have now minus e over 2 e i of sine of x minus 1 plus 1 over 2 times e e i of 1 plus sine of x plus c okay this is the answer now uh, i think uh, you can understand why i am going to make this integral so complex if not uh, we couldn't solve this integral thank you for watching